The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. For I see no reason to be ashamed of the gospel. It is God's power for the salvation of everyone who has faith, Jews first, but Greeks as well. For in it is revealed the saving justice of God, a justice based on faith and addressed to faith. As it says in scripture, anyone who is upright through faith will live. The retribution of God from heaven is being revealed against the ungodliness and injustice of human beings who in their injustice held back the truth. For what can be known about God is perfectly plain to them, since God has made it plain to them. Ever since the creation of the world, the invisible existence of God and His everlasting power have been clearly seen by the mind's understanding of created things. And so these people have no excuse. They knew God, and yet they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. But their arguments became futile, and their uncomprehending minds were darkened. While they claimed to be wise, in fact they were growing so stupid that they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for an imitation, for the image of a mortal human being or birds or animals or crawling things. That is why God abandoned them in their inmost cravings to filthy practices of dishonoring their own bodies. Because they exchanged God's truth for a lie and have worshiped and served the creature instead of the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. And our response comes from Psalm 19. Day discourses of it today, night to night, hands on the knowledge. No utterance at all, no speech, not a sound to be heard. But from the entire earth, the design stands out. This message reaches the whole world. High above, he pitched a tent for the sun, who comes forth from his pavilion like a bridegroom, delights like a champion in the course to be run. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke, Jesus had just finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He went in and sat down at table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, you Pharisees, you clean the outside of cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Fools! Did not he who made the outside make the inside too? Instead, give alms from what you have and look, everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord.